Welcome. Now we are talking about drama and theatre again. And we are in the middle of the series of programmes. We are investigating skills that we can develop. And today the topic is about body awareness and also a little about how to move your body. But first, of course, I will introduce my nice assistant from the Holistic Education Programme at MIE. Please. I am uh, Madina Goura. Hello, I am Sandrine Adrien. I am Yatish. Very good. So why do we do this? Why do we want to investigate our ability to move? Yes, it's about expanding our possibilities, both as human beings living in the real world and also as actors working with presentations. And it's a good way to become confident with your own body and your ability to move. Most of us don't really understand that this is a gift. It has so many possibilities. And we will start with a warm-up of our joints in the body. And for this I will use some music. So take your position and close your eyes, please. You use... Sorry. I want you to use the music as a support for your movement. Think that you are like a tree and the energy is coming from down under. So the energy starts with you moving your toes. That is the first ten joints. And if you want, you use the music, the rhythm of the music, to support your movements. Next step, I ask you to let the energy come to your wrist or the ankle of your foot, sorry. So now all of a sudden you can move your body up and down and you can turn, you can bend, you can rotate. I want you to continue with your knees so they can also be bent and stretched. And use the rhythm if you want. And remind your toes and your ankles that they can move as well. I will go through this a little faster than usual. It will take 10 minutes, but this will take maybe only one minute. So please continue with the hips that or the hip and it can be bent, it can be stretched, it can be rotated but just try to remember that you have your toes, you have your ankles, you have your knees and then you focus on your shoulders the shoulders can be rotated, you can bend, you can stretch, the rest of the body just relaxing and try now to wake up again the toes, the ankles, your knees, your hip, and everything is moving except now your arms. So now you can also bend the elbow. So try to find ways to move elbow, stretch. Maybe if you can, you can rotate. So the movements come down from down under, through your body, all the way up. And now to your, the wrist of your hand. So now you can rotate, you can bend, you can stretch. And finally the fingers. So all the joints in your hand, all the fingers, try to wake them up through this movement. And now see if you can add all the joints in a movement to this rhythm. So see if you can use the whole body, the potential of your body to move. Either with the music or just to any music you have inside of your mind.
and thank you very much. It works like a warm-up, but it's also a reminder of what you can do. You can open your eyes. It's good to do it with your eyes closed because you are only focusing on yourself. Because for some of us this movement can be very embarrassing. You start to think, I'm dancing, I'm doing the right thing. But when it comes to body movements and body awareness, don't think you are doing anything that is wrong. As long as you investigate and use your body, you are doing the right thing. I will soon show you more about this. Let's now think that you are a tree. You can open your eyes. And I want you to think that you are a tree standing in a little bit of a wind. Can you like use your body as if you are a tree? And I will put another kind of music on. So this is what we call movement for joy. It's actually something from nature we are using. I want you to think you are a proud tree standing in the wind. And it's a very slow wind letting the branches move. And as of course you are connected with your roots, so nothing will start to move except your branches. And maybe we can let a wind start to be a little stronger. So it's like uh, a little stronger wind, so all of a sudden you can rotate a little, but still your, your feet are connected to the ground, like the roots of a tree. And then we can let the wind start even harder to work with, through the... Yeah, you can, you can almost go to the cyclone, the level of a cyclone now. But the tree is still there, it's still strong, and no branches will break in this tree. And then you go back to a little slower wind, a little more beautiful. And now imagine that you are a leaf of this tree, and that you are falling down from the tree in this wind. That means you can start to move around in the room, like you are falling and dancing, as if you were a leaf in this wind. And we can let the wind start to blow a little more, so it starts almost to rotate. And it continues to be stronger and stronger and stronger. until it reaches a low level of wind again and it's almost no wind at all and it's falling down to the ground. Okay, thank you very much. When we are thinking about moving and dancing, as I said before, we, we often think that we have to do the right thing and one way to investigate what is, what is this about right and wrong is to do the opposite. So today we will do another activity that, that is to follow the music and to go opposite the music. And maybe you will see that going opposite the music will give you more uh, security and more possibilities instead of trying to follow the music. So there will be a new kind of music. So I want you to use this music to follow the music, to see the rhythm of the music and the activity of the music. You are free to move in the whole space. I want you to use it. Think about the rhythm. And don't mind thinking about your joints now, because you have them, all of them are there. You can use them. I want you to use them. And now, what happens if I say, 
Go opposite the music. Do something that is completely different from this. But you still have to move. So you break the rhythm, you break the feeling of the music. And then I ask you again to go back to this rhythm, to follow the music, use the rhythm of the music. And then opposite again. Do something that is completely destroying the music and the possibility of this music. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I will ask you to stand where you are. Now we have used some music for movement. The final thing we will do is about the artist and clay. So I will show with the help of you and I want the two of you to work with this uh, during a period of time. It, it's three steps in this activity. So if I am the artist, if I am the artist, and you are the clay, yeah. I will shape you, and there you stay in the position where I let you go. Yeah. And then I will try to do this. I can change the way his head is directed. And even this has to be relaxed, but I will put it there. This is like a, a first step to approaching statues, actually, uh, that will come in the next episode after this one. So thank you. And this is the first step. So I want one of you to be the clay. You decide. And one is the sculpture. And you know you can also continue with the legs if you want. You can make them stand in another way. Here it's also about the joints we have been working with you. You know through this, the first exercise, how does the joint work? You can't bend them the wrong way. Beautiful, thank you. First step. Second step, the clay is a little naughty, so if I put his arm there and I let go, he will go back to his position. Same if I continue with this, he will go back to a neutral position. Very good. So let's try this. If you want, you can change or you do. The good thing now, what you're doing is actually going to the next step already, because you, ex ex uh, you, you expect her to go back all the time. Try to be a little more frustrated when you're doing this. And come on my side. <laughs> exactly, you are, you are actually trying to do it one more time. Thank you. Very good. Now we have like an interaction between the two of them that is a, a bit different from, from before. The third step, I will start like a movement and you do whatever you want with, uh, with uh, the impulse I give you. So now I will do this. And how can you, how can you use that movement? Yeah, okay. So it continues as long as I don't stop you. So you just continue like that. And then I do this, you continue with your head. Exactly. And then I do this, and he do whatever he wants with that, so it will be like a movement, and then I can make him start maybe to walk like this by putting that, and then he start to do this, just to keep all the body 
movements going until I stop it because I can stop it there and then I do something else. So, thank you. Just try this. It's like a dance but without music. <laughs> Thank you. It's very good. Thank you very much. Uh, normally, when we when we do the last step of this, we we we, are, we start to to move in a way we are not used to. I don't know how you felt about that. You will never do it yourself, probably. You will not even dance like this. But this is a way to expand your your possibilities. You let someone else actually make you move a way that you will maybe feel ashamed of, but you can always blame her and you can always blame me for giving you these impulses. And in that way you can feel more free in the way you are experiencing your body movements and your, your, your awareness of your body. Yes, that is actually the end of this, this episode about body awareness and movement. So thank you and I see you again very soon.